Sex is the life force energy that runs through us all. Can you use sexual energy for your spiritual evolution or perhaps for emotional healing? Is it even possible? Clinical sexologist Dr. Martha Tara Lee will explore all these and more on Eros Evolution on Om Times Radio. Hello, hello, and welcome to Eros Evolution. This is where sexuality and spirituality meets. My name is Martha. I'm a clinical sexologist with a doctorate in human sexuality, and I'm from Eros Coaching. That's E-R-O-S coaching.com. In today's show, we'll be reviewing past episodes of Eros Evolution. I strongly believe that it is important to do a review from time to time of past episodes so as to reflect on the things that I have learned and uh, to regroup so that uh, I fully integrate all the learnings. And um, this is because when I started this radio show, Eros Evolution, we, we, I decided to explore the link between sex and spirit. It was really for myself. And I would say that my relationship with sex and spirit um, has changed. I understand the link between the two so much better than before. And I want to deepen that understanding. And so in each um, um, summary that I have, um, this is the intention to reflect on each episode, to look at the learnings, and also to provide for listeners a little bit of a cheat sheet. So this allows you to also uh, get a sense of the past episodes and uh, see which are the episodes that you would like to uh, listen in entirety. Some people are more auditory than others, and some people have less time than others, and so they may want to decide, hmm, this is the one that I want to listen to, or this is the one that I might want to listen to again. (laughs) And sometimes we forget what we learn, and it's important to uh, review that. So I just came back from Bali uh, two days ago, and I was there for a week. Um, I would say that uh, if you haven't been to Bali, I've been there a few times, if you haven't been to Bali, Bali is a it's a beautiful place. There's so many um, things there that you can do. I did paddle boarding for the first time, and uh, I was there with my new beloved, and um, we are actually looking at um, creating a life together. We're trying for a baby now, <laughs> and. It's going to be very different. It's going to be different having uh, him, having a baby, having a family. Uh, I've been single for the last five, six years uh, since my separation from my ex-husband. And in past episodes, I have shared how I uh, went to high attacks, went through depression, how I learned how to develop self-care and self-love for myself. And I I share my personal life in the hopes that uh, through my life I'll be able to support and help um, people out there. Okay, so without further ado, let's go into the past 15 episodes of Arrow's Evolution starting with the first episode of January, January 5th, because the last ep- last summary that I did was actually last year, and it's already now um, going into the third week of April, and this is a great time to do a recap. So on January 5th, I did the episode Seeding the Sexual Renaissance with Frank Mondoze. Mondoze is one of the faculty members of ISTA, which stands for International School of Temple Arts. And in that episode, um, because of his own passion with, under, uh, with the new awakened masculine and the rise of the sacred feminine, he did the episode explaining what the masculine and feminine uh, means. And um, he explained it beautifully in that episode 
because he he does this all the time. This is what he teaches in ISTA. And so he did a really beautiful summary for um, this particular episode. He talks about the what Tantra means to him. And I'm just summarizing here, putting aside of the ego, being able to be sharing, vibrating, being connected to the city, country, planet, having accountability, responsibility, versus selling spiritually, uh, sexuality, sorry, as a commodity. He also talks about, in that episode, four different types of sex. That's procreation sex, which a lot of us uh, do. It. Oh, sorry, that's a procreation, correct? There's procreation sex, which is um, making a baby. And then there's recreational sex, where we have sex for fun. That's revitalizing or restoration, restoration uh, sex which um, involves recharging the body, having more energy. And over time, men and women um, learning how to have orgasms and, and ejaculation in different ways. For women, stronger orgasms over time. For, for men, uh, orgasms without ejaculation. And then there's transformational sex. This is when you make love and it goes into the divine and the sacred it's beyond oneself, it has a higher purpose, and there's some level of um, action. There's, um, there's that true understanding of there's no lack in yourself or outside of yourself. In that episode, he also talks about the, the mistake that we make when it comes to love, sex, and relating, giving away of our power how po and uh, the lack of recognizing how powerful we are, and learning how to come from a higher place of love and uh, it's very much about understanding the social scripts that we play and also those um, that are outside of ourselves that are disempowering us for instance um, how women serve men and how we get caught up with commodities such as cars, clothes um, also with status symbol and with the American dream <laughs> So he talks about his work, um, uh, Frank Mondoze, and he, how he's available by Skype, and he encourages uh, people to, of course, invest in themselves in uh, trainings. And, of course, he was talking about uh, his work in Easter. So that's uh, Frank Mondoze on January 5th. And, uh, you know, depending on how you count it, but for me, the way I count it is this, that was episode 103. And you can find every single episode by going to Arrows Evolution at a Glance on Google. So just key in Arrows Evolution at a Glance, and that link will take you to uh, my page, which actually I have listed over the last two years, every single one of the episodes. And then I backlink it to uh, Om Times Radio. And Om Times Radio is, of course, where this um, Arrows Evolution is housed on. January uh, 12, uh, I... Um, interviewed uh, Kate Moy, and she's a psychosexual and relationship therapist um, based in uh, uh, UK, and she's the founding partner of Pillow Play app. So it's an app called Pillow Play, and you can find it on pillow.io. And uh, in that episode, she was talking about how you can use your iPhone to help boost intimacy in your relationship. And she um, has been doing this work uh, for the last four years, and she feels very passionate about helping people to keep intimacy going, especially in long-term relationships. And one of the tips that she started the show by sharing is that it's so important to have five minutes of conscious uh, connecting without using a telephone, phone, and uh, through the through the use of your eyes. So what her program has um, is that you have a follow-along audio that is uh, ha has a new release every 30 days, and oh, it's a 30-day program. For every week or four weeks, you are encouraged to have intimacy for five minutes, just five minutes, to start to um, do the practices. So it's a follow-along audio, and she interviews different experts. Uh, for different episodes. 
Um, she also in that show talked about the link between sex and spirit for her, and to her it means not making assumptions and um, not assuming things about your partner when it comes to uh, connecting with them again. To her, the link between um, when sex becomes spirit is where there's an element of vulnerability when you let go of your concerns, anxieties, and space, and you treat the present as the only thing that is happening in the world. She also talks about her what she's noticing in the hookup culture, how she feels about it when it comes to apps like Tinder and Bumble, and how people, people become disposable, and technology is surpassing human interaction. This is the reason why she decided to not resist the flow and uh, come out with this app so that we use our phones for the better good. And she talks about the psychology of rejection. And we are doing things that we don't do to people in person. And we've become numb, we've become lonely, and we forgot how people interact. And so this is her passion. And in the episode, she talks about the use of iPhone to boost in, uh, intimacy in the relationship. And her website is Kate Moit, that's M O Y L E, that's Kate Moit, one word, dot co dot UK. So I loved her work so much that I actually even uh, interviewed her on Zoom. And uh, you can find that on my YouTube channel. So, what's happening actually lately? Uh, is I started to do daily YouTube uh, videos, releasing them, little educational snippets. So you may want to check out my YouTube channel as well. So more after this break. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Om Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Om Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Hi, I'm Kelly Fox, host and astrologer of The Astrology Show. Each week, I'll give you access to the current transits, which are a valuable tool that provide astrological information to help unlock the potential each of us has. Understanding the stars can help steer us in the right direction to make better informed choices. So if you're wondering what's going to happen in your week ahead, be sure to tune in to The Astrology Show for guidance, Mondays at 9pm Eastern Time. Every two minutes, an American is sexually assaulted. The majority of victims know their attacker. It could be your friend, your neighbor, or someone you met at a party. If you said no, it's rape, and it's a crime. This is Christina Ricci with RAIN. Call the National Sexual Assault Hotline today at 1-800-656-HOPE or visit RAIN.org. That's R-A-I-N-N dot O-R-G. Brought to you by RAIN and this station. And welcome back to Arrow's Evolution. You are listening to the show on the Own Times Radio Network. And you can share this show with your friends by going to the link omtimes.com forward slash mobile. With this link, you'll be able to listen to the show without needing to download any app. And uh, in today's show, we're summarizing the past 15 episodes of Arrow's Evolution. It's a good time to reflect and it's good to have a little cheat sheet so that you can look at which are the episodes that you would like to listen to. And you can access all of them by going to my little cheat page. <laughs> and it's called Arrows Evolution at a Glance. So you can Google it, Arrows Evolution at a Glance. You can come to my page and you can just scroll up and down to access every single episode, which I then in turn link back to uh, On Time's uh, website. So you can uh, access all of that online. 
And just before the break, I was summarizing the past two episodes that happened on January 5th and January 12th. And now we are going to January 19th. And this is the tantric escort sex work, sex work that is profoundly healing. And this is EJ Love, who uh, started off being a um, sex worker escort and um, then realized that it doesn't work for her because what happens in sex work is you're very much in service of someone and you're just doing what they want to do as opposed to checking into your body and really going into what feels good for you, for her, in her body. And so she's evolved her escort work into a sacred sexual healing practice which includes tantric rituals and practical sex coaching. And um, if you follow her work, because I follow her work um, on Facebook, she's starting to go into um, speaking more about the sacred feminine. She's also talking about uh, her own personal experiences with dating. And um, she's really touching and moving a lot of people with her work, especially in the last uh, few weeks. And she's... um, um, being invited to do a lot of uh, amazing work um, around um, Australia, which is where she is um, at. And in that episode, she was talking about the how her work has evolved, of course, and she talks about the importance of um, um, her work. Um, and one of her work is uh, called Naked Woman Rising. And It is where women from all around the world are coming together to rise up and own all the parts of them that have been shamed. And this is also going to be the name of her future book, Naked Woman Rising. Uh, You can find out more about her by going to soulpriestess.com and nakedwomanrising.com. And um, in that episode, she also talks about the importance of um, finding a tantric provider, and she provided a sexual healing challenge where you can get free seven day sexual healing program. And so where you where you can go is tinyurl.com backslash sexual healing challenge. And it's a free seven day uh, sexual healing program that she created. So that's where you can go and uh, find more um, practices that um, EJ Love has. The, work, the, the episode was really very much a lot about um, her, her her work, how her journey has evolved, and her philosophy with regards to uh, Tantra. So you may want to tune into the episode for that. Okay, and the next episode ep- um, on January 27th, uh, I was away in um, Australia for a month. I was uh, in Sydney for the Really Good Sex Festival. I presented there. And um, then I, the, the second week that I was there, I ran my own workshop. The third week that I was there, I had a break. And then the fourth week I was there, I was uh, part of the Really Good Sex Festival retreat called Into the Wild. And so I was away for four weeks. And um, having been in Sydney before, I know how bad the internet sh- connection is there. You'd be surprised. For a city like Sydney, the internet connection is surprisingly slow. And so I really didn't want to risk the possibility of having a bad um, show. And so I allowed then uh, for the next four episodes to have different guests come on by themselves and basically do their own thing. And so on January 27th, I had my friend uh, Emma Jory. Uh, she is actually based in KL, Malaysia. And in that episode, she talks about learn the secrets to getting your pre-baby body back for good. It's a really long title getting your pre-baby body back for good. And obviously, um, for this episode to be relevant to you, you you should have had a baby. And you want to learn how to do the right exercises after giving birth so as to flatten your tummy and get your pre-baby body back. And uh, Emma is passionate about helping women rediscover their core strength and empowering them to know how to keep it. And uh, Emma is um, an expert when it comes to pre- and postnatal pilates, and she's also a health and well-being expert. She has a very beautiful, gentle energy, and uh, you will love this episode where she talks about the do's and don'ts, and also answers some of the commonly uh, asked 
and also burning questions that people have with regarding with regards to uh, staying fit and healthy. She's an international certified Pilates um, specialist and health coach with over 13 years of experience, and she's the founder of E Pilates Online. And uh, this um, website is basically the world's leading boutique online Pilates studio, and she's studying yoga uh, herself right now. She's trained many celebrities, and she uh, she uses this online studio, E Pilates Online, to help people. And of course, the website is epilatesonline.com, and uh, her Facebook is E Pilates Online. So uh, that that is um, that was the second time in which um, Emma has appeared on Arrow's Evolution. That um, um, the, in the previous time, I think part of her show recording was cut off, and so. This time when she came back, um, she had that whole episode and she told me that she had a fabulous time. So do, do tune in to that particular episode if uh, you know of or if you have had a baby and you want to get your pre-baby body back. <laughs> so on February 2nd, um, again I was away, um, it was an episode on sex coaching and spirituality. So in this episode, I had two people on online actually. That's Maisha Battle and um, Sarah Martin. So Maisha Battle is a certified sex coach, writer, and speaker, and she was on uh, my uh, show previously as well. And she has her own podcast called Down uh, Down for Whatever. And uh, Maisha Battle is uh, m y dot m y i s h a dot com. And Sarah Martin is a warrior woman. She's also a certified sex coach. She uh, is the executive director for the World Association of Sex Coaches, which is the certifying body and professional association for sex bo- uh, coaches worldwide. And her website is goodsexlifestyle.com. And previously, uh, Sarah Martin was on Arrow's Evolution talking about her book, Orgasmic Running. So, of course, I'm interested in orgasms as a sex uh, coach at myself. And I have a book, Orgasmic Yoga, so I was very interested in what orgasmic running was about. And Sarah Martin has a little book on that. So she talked about it on the previous episode. But on this particular episode on February 2nd, both of them talked about how sex coaching lies in with spirituality and the types of spiritual sexual practices that uh, you can explore and also the benefits of working with a sex coach. So it's very much about um, the understanding of what sex coaching is about, the hiring of a sex coach, and how there is a link between sex and spirit. So hear from these two experts because um, they are my counterparts, really. And um, they told me that they had a fabulous time because the two of them know each other, and so they have that chemistry between them. So it's a very good uh, episode uh, to tune in so that you have a different perspective of uh, sex coaching and spirituality because um, I will have my own perspective and then my guests will have their own perspective and then the two of them come together and uh, they would have a different kind of chemistry and um, both of them are um, based in America and so the way they would speak would be very different from me. I have a Singaporean accent and I'm Asian, I'm based in Singapore, born and bred in Singapore. So the way I speak, the way I, um, I, I use certain words would probably be quite different from people who are born and bred from America. So yeah, do tune into that. And February um, 9th, the connection between traveling and lovemaking, I had uh, once again um, uh, Robert Alex and Janelle Alex come on the show both of them are a power couple. I've had them on the show um, at least two other times now. And in this show, they came on by themselves. And um, this couple has actually been able to um, get their act together, save money, and now they're starting to travel and uh, holiday uh, while being in relationship with each other. And um, in this episode, it talks about um, couples traveling together, whether for business or pleasure, and what they don't realize is that traveling offers unique opportunities from them to explore spiritual transitions in their lives. And uh, Robert and Janelle Alex 
are actually quite spiritual in previous episodes. He talks about um, sexual medicine and uh, shamanism and all these things that is pretty awesome. So if you are in a partnered relationship, you definitely want to check out this episode. And the two of them just have this ability to vibe off each other and play with each other. And it's really delightful. So check out, um, they have many, many um, websites and they ha- they have their own work. But for that particular episode, they were actually promoting a different website called alexfamilyadventures.com. And the Facebook is facebook.com backslash alexfamilyadventures. And that's where they were talking about going on this holiday. And uh, later when I ca- caught up with them, they said they're on this caravan and um, um, doing all kinds of amazing things. And so you want to check out that episode for that particular purpose. So right now, we are now on to episode sev- um, uh, 7 of 15 that I want to cover today. And it's on February 16. Do you want to love your body but really don't? And this is for people who want to love their body but have difficulties doing so. And in that episode, um, Nina... Manelson, uh, who is based in the U.S., she's a health and psychology of eating coach, and she's at ninamanelson.com, that's M-A-N-O-L-S-O-N, and uh, she has a special website for that show called eatonpurpose.ninamanelson.co, and Nina is fabulous. She's really, really excellent. I've interviewed her on a previous episode. I love her so much that I asked her to come back and do this episode by herself. In that show, she covered the five phases of body love because it takes time for us to get into a real deep state of loving your body. And so she talks about our criticism and uh, ways in which we can go into body love. So do tune in to that episode uh, for that. So we're now up for break and I'll come back and uh, go on to other show summaries. So stay tuned because this is where I'm summarizing all my learnings and you'll get... Free your mind with Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Ohm Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness and personal empowerment, a philanthropic organization. Their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Ohm Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Hi, this is Julie Geigel. And I'm Susan Schuler. And I'm Lori Walker. And we are the Psychic Angel Channelers from Angel Talk Tuesday. Tune in every week at 10 a.m. Eastern on OMTimesRadio.com. The angels have heard your call and are here to help. Are you ready to receive? Bathe in the beautiful vibrational frequency to help you heal, expand, and remember your magnificence with Angel Talk Tuesday. What's up? This is Brad and Mike from Lincoln Park for Life Beat, the music industry fights AIDS. Listen up, times are tough and you get a lot of things thrown your way. If you're being pressured to have sex and you're not ready, then say no. If you're having sex, be smart and use protection. Respect yourself and protect yourself. For more information, call the National AIDS Hotline at 1-800-342-AIDS or log on to www.lifebeat.org. And welcome back to Eros Evolution. This is where we always explore the link between sex and spirit. And in this particular episode, I'm summarizing the past 15 episodes of Eros Evolution since the start of January this year. And uh, we are at um, February 23rd. And this is the 8th of 15 shows that I want to uh, summarize today. Uh, in this episode on February 23rd, we have real sex education, what it is and how to do it with Karen Rain. And Karen Rain um, is a um, a pretty accomplished uh, sex educator, I really have to admit. Uh, She has a PhD in educational psychology from UT Austin. And uh, she does all this amazing work uh, with um, American Journal of Sex Education, Sexuality Education, and the Center for Sex Education. 
and internationally review and FPA, that's Family Planning Association. And she has a free book that you can download. So I really want to do a shout out on that because I have the that book. And uh, in that show, she covers the 10 different things that she covers in her book uh, in this episode. And so if you are not really a reading person, then you may want to listen to this particular show because she talks about the importance of sex ed and she then talks about how you can talk about sex with your kids. And so you can download that book and it's called BreakingTheHashFactor.com. And uh, later after the show, actually, I asked her why she decided to give her book away for free. And she said that that's because she wants to make it affordable. I mean, you know, she wants to, um, she wants everybody to have access to it. And also uh, because she believes that um, that helps get the word, word out and that in turn helps her to get more uh, speaking engagements. So in uh, that particular episode, she talks about the importance, of course, of a comprehensive sex education as opposed to abstinence-based sex education. She talked about some of the very sensitive uh, topics that still continue as a sex educator, and this includes talking about anything relating to GLBTQ, which stands for gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and queer people. And also the next topic, surprisingly, is actually about consent. The ability to say yes and no is controversial also when it comes to sex education. Maybe because we feel that um, teenagers don't have the capacity of really being and stepping into their power. However, it's so important that we treat them as young adults and start teaching them how to be really uh, in their body, be empowered with using their body in ways that feels good for them. Because when we don't understand our body, we risk um, um, our safety our, uh, to our own body, of course, and also our partner and the future partners. So he talked about, she talked about the importance of accessing accurate decision making and physiology um, for us. She started to talk about um, how the lack of sex education continues, even though um, in the uh, 150 years. The same uh, themes that happen uh, still are happening, still are the same questions that we have. She also talks about the link between sex and spirit, of course, for her. And she says that she sees uh, spirituality as something that uh, affects all of us and the quality of holy with um, the ability to talking about it. And so the so the, the, the capacity to talk about that uh, is shifting because people are not just talking about um, our spirituality as attached to religion, but more of the, 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 the sense of feeling that people get from it. So you also may want to check out her other website called unhash.net, which is meant for people who are in grades 7 to 8. And uh, she's, uh, she also, in that episode, talked about the different kinds of book projects that she's working on. So check out her other website, there are a few websites that I'm talking about here in this show. I'm summarizing all of them for you. And if you want to check out uh, Karen's work, you can go to karenray.com. That's R-A-Y-N-E. In, um, on March uh, 2nd, I had Sacred Lovers feeling into deep connect, deeper connection with Matt Schwantek and Robin Denzel. So uh, I've been following Matt's book for a while now. Um, he's a sex educator who is more or less often I see him um, posting from Bali. And I actually met him at Into the Wild Retreat in uh, Sydney with his partner Robin uh, Denzel. They are lovers and they're passionate about sharing what they live and teach to create deep connection in relationship. They work with individuals and couples to help them identify what they want, communicate clear agreements, and deepen their intimacy. And their work uh, is very much based on the will and consent by Dr. Betty Martin. And if you are uh, in the world of sexuality, which, which I am in, uh, you cannot run away from uh, listening to, participating in, learning, practices around the wheel of consent and of all the people who teach the wheel of consent 
I really have to admit that Matt Schwantek is extremely passionate about it. Like he's he's so passionate. Like his whole work is around the wheel of consent um, that was created by Betty Martin. And so in this particular episode, we talked. He talked about the importance and the practice of uh, first of all activating the neurons um, that are on your hand. You can wake up your hand by actually giving um, touching objects, for instance. For instance, now as I say this, I'm touching my table. <laughs> so as you start moving um, your hand, you start creating this electromagnetic field and you start waking up the sensation in your body. And this releases oxy- oxytocin in your body and this uh, helps you connect to your body. And this actually activates uh, the neurons in your body much faster than how your brain uh, would react. So what in turn you are doing is you are doing a biohack. You are, you are causing your body to become more relaxed, more sensuous, more receptive uh, as the oxytocin and the dopamine are being released. You actually calm down your nervous system and in turn by being clearer and uh, about what feels good in your body, you later on become better at asking for what you do want in relation with other people. So like I mentioned, it calms down your nervous system so you are less likely to go into fight or flight mode which is really good when it comes to all of us who are highly strung, busy, tired, stressed, having low sex drive. Just calm down your body. And when you start to calm down, you get a better sense of what is it that you really want. So they have this thing they call the touch meditation for three minutes. And uh, they also then in that show talk about the one thing game. In that show, they talked also about other things that are pretty scientific. And uh, this is especially so in the last 15 minutes of that particular episode. So do tune in to March 2nd, Sacred Lovers, if you're interested to find out all these scientific yummy things uh, relating to touch. On March 9th, I talked about uh, unusual ur- urinary tract infections, the UTI um, surprise with um, Sherry Tokers. And Sherry Tokers is a pharmacist, author, certified fitness instructor and health enthusiast. And she uses her expertise in pharmacy and nutrition to educate people on complementary therapies to optimize health and prevent disease. And it, this is no mean feat because most of the time, <laughs> um, actually, on, on Iris Evolution, I always interview people who are sex educators. And Sherry is a pharmacist. And so we're talking about UTI, which is a very common issue that a lot of um, people face, um, not just um, women, um, men too. And so she, in that episode, talked about what you can do about um, if you have frequent UTI. She started the show by saying that uh, peeing before and after sex helps, wiping from front to back um, helps, and also taking Cran Max. So this is cranberry, and um, it's uh, not just any, it's Cran Max. She talked about uh, UTI surprises, and one of it is actually um, taking a lot of um, chicken. Chicken actually makes our um, body... um, uh, it affects our body because um, chicken um, has this um, bacteria which uh, causes UTI. And so to prevent it, be careful about how you cook your chicken and also uh, how you cut your chicken. So she talks about it in that show. She also talks about um, people with spinal cord injuries being uh, susceptible to UTIs. And um, she talks about how to prevent it. And of course, uh, I already mentioned, uh, Cremax is one of them. The third thing that she mentioned is um, how cold, flu, and allergy medications are actually also um, affecting our UTI. And um, so she mentioned probiotics. And the episode is actually pretty scientific. And um, there are lots of things that she mentioned which I myself um, didn't catch fully. (laughs) I mean, I was interviewing her, but uh, she was um, going on quite a bit. And it's a really worthwhile episode to uh, listen to in entirety because she also talked about probiotics. She talked about uh, immune support. And she talked about how to increase your sex drive, actually. And um, she talked about Tongkat Ali being top of the list. And then I asked her, what about Maka? 
and what about ginseng? So uh, listen to the episode if you are inclined, because um, we actually went into how you can uh, help your sex drive, and you may want to listen especially to the last 15 episodes of that show, because that's where we talked about other things other than UTI. Okay, so on March 16, I talked about uh, Clean and Clear, Emotional Freedom Through Releasing, and this is a campaign that I'm still running. I started it on the 1st of April, and it's going to end on the 3rd of April. And I talked about the importance of emotional release. I started to cover different emotional releasing techniques, including breathing. (sighs) And uh, you can actually join this uh, Clean and Clear campaign even now. Um, what's going to happen is even if you, you join it now, you will still have access to all the free resources and videos that I've created on different emotional releasing techniques and also the eight expert interviews that I have been releasing. And uh, there are two more to come, but you can still uh, join that uh, Facebook group where everything is happening. And that Facebook group is facebook.com backslash groups backslash clean ADN clear. So it's not N, but it's ADN. So there's an intentional typo there. So it's facebook.com backslash groups backslash clean ADN clear. Okay? So there's no space in between. And um, that was uh, March 16th. That's my own um, thing. So I really would like you to listen to that show if you want to get the full value of how to do, how to appreciate emotional release. In that episode, I also covered some myths around emotional release. So that's March uh, 23rd that we're going into Hack Your Sex Life with sex hacker Kenneth Play. Kenneth is a very interesting person because he's actually um, Asian like me. And there are not that many Asian sex educators. So I was very excited about having him. He's a former top fitness professional. And as a fitness professional, he's interested in body hacks and then interested in uh, sex hacks. So uh, more after this break. Bringing you the best of the conscious minds in the world. Home Times Radio, your conscious lifestyle on steroids. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Join me, Tammy Adams, intuitive life coach and spiritual healer, for my new show, Karma Talk. Learn how to get rid of your karma so that you can start living the life you are meant to live. I am not going to tell you what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. Join me on Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time for Karma Talk on Palm Time Radio. It's on us to stop sexual assault. To get in the way before it happens. To get a friend home safe. And to not blame the victim. It's on us. To look out for each other. To To not not look the other way. It's on us. To stand up. To step in. To take responsibility. It's on us. All of us. To to stop stop sexual sexual assault. assault. Learn how. And take the pledge at itsonus.org. Welcome to the last 15 minutes of today's show. And um, I still have a few episodes to cover, four episodes, so I'm going to go quick. Um, just now, just before break, talked about March 23rd, Hack Your Sex Life with Kenneth Play. He's a sex educator, and uh, he believes in explicit sex education. And his um, um, workshops are Pay What You Can uh, model, and um, he talked about it. I was pretty fascinated with it. And uh, you have to pay more if you want a private session. And he talks about um, how, as an Asian model, you know, he receives all these penis jokes 
and it's not really about the size of the penis that matters. And he talks about um, how science doesn't explain everything and that he believes that um, Tantra really works and that's why he's learning about it. It's less about he feels the what looks good externally uh, and then the interna internal experience is not amazing. But then uh, with Tantra, you may look like you're not doing much, but actually the internal experience is amazing. And so he talks about how he, um, the breaking down of techniques and letting go and surrendering, surrendering will allow us to go uh, deeper and don't, don't need to be on all kinds of um, drugs and stuff. So that's episode um, um, 104, at least for me, the way I count it. And then there's um, March 30th, Touch Me in Ways That Matter. And for the first time, I interviewed my friend Bianca um, Briggs. And uh, she actually talks about dementia, how it affects memory loss. And she talks about her belief around the link between sex and spirit. And uh, she gave some very good advice around uh, dealing with family members who have dementia if you are a caregiver. She talks about the importance of occupying them in ways that matter to them, in helping them uh, remember memories and documenting memories in their own words. And it is really for them rather, is rather in ways that you, you like. And so what's important is about getting to know them and um, so that they can have the best quality of life. And um, so Bianca is um, very gentle and uh, she's a Reiki practitioner. She's an essential oils advocate and she's um, in Perth, Australia. She has a son living with Asperger's syndrome, so she, she knows what it's like to, uh, and she's been doing this for the longest time. So in that show, I asked her why she likes working with people with dementia. And, um, she 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 does this. She's she's just really loving, warm person, and her website is heart two. That's the number two heart two heart connections dot alive, and um, you may want to check out her website. April six self care and its importance to your sex drought. And in this show, I actually had a guest, but there was some. Um, problems with connecting him on so for the first 15 minutes I was really distracted but after that I went into talking about the importance of self-care I talked about my own experience uh, overcoming depression and I talked about um, um, the importance of uh, getting out of your sex drought and what you can do uh, if you are in some kind of a sex drought or sex rut so sex drought meaning no sex and sex rut meaning doing things the same all the time and so I talked about how opposites attract. One can be a morning person, one can be a night person. One is an introvert, one is an extrovert. One is a touch person, one is a not a touch person. And um, the importance of scheduling sex and also explained um, spontaneous versus responsive sexual desire and what that means. And um, you can uh, go to that episode. You can find every single episode by going to Arrow's Evolution at a glance. Just do a quick Google and you'll be able to find it. And in the episode, I, I offered my free download uh, ebook for women. And you can find it at arrowscoaching.com backslash reclaim dash your dash sexuality. And also for people with premature ejaculation, you may want to go to my free resource. That's arrowscoaching.com backslash uh, RGSG free. That's RGSG free for people who are interested to overcome early ejaculation. And last week, yeah, I was um, away in Bali and I had bad internet connection, didn't want to risk it. And so I asked my scheduled guest to do the show by herself. She's a very seasoned practitioner. She's a natural health expert and award-winning author. And she's Christine Horner. And in that particular episode, she talked about hidden health secrets. And I'm going to share with you very quickly the hidden health secrets that she was talking about. She talked about lupus and how you can take omega-3 fatty acids uh, for that uh, HPV, human papilloma virus. 79 million Americans have been diagnosed with that. And you can take AHCC, which is a natural immune boosting medical mushroom. So look up AHCC for that. And if you have depression or have had depression, be sure to take vitamin D, which is uh, reported to be a natural medicine game changer. And um, 
um, uh, if you have breast cancer or know people who have breast cancer, breast cancer you want to recommend them. Uh, my mom has breast cancer. She has stage 4 breast cancer. And uh, she's going chemo, going through chemo again for the fourth time or fifth time. And it's really, it's really very stressful on the whole family. And uh, got yelled at by my dad yesterday because he absorbs the yelling and then he in turn, um, you know, yells at people, yelled at me yesterday. But anyway, uh, breast cancer, natural medicine, game changer, turmeric is um, one of them. This spice helps present, prevents against cancer uh, cells from growing. And, um, and of course, there's omega-3 fatty acids that uh, helps prevent the spread of tumors. And then there's AHCC, which also helps support the immune system and lowers the risk of cancer. So these three things uh, she recommended in that show. And Christine Horner uh, is, has a book, okay, and it's called uh, Awakening the Warrior Goddess. Mm, sounds good. Um, Dr. Christine Horner's Program to Protect Against and Fight Breast Cancer, third edition. And her, she has a new book called Radiant Health, Ageless Beauty. So you want to check that out. We're just coming to almost the end of today's show. And so far, I've summarized, haha, all 15 episodes, <laughs> all the last 15 episodes of today's, um, of Eros Evolution. And Eros, Eros Evolution is where I always explore the link between sex and spirit. And um, I just want to take some minutes here of the remaining time to explain how I have learned the change um, in my personal attitude between the link between sex and spirit. And, um, of course, you want to listen to my uh, YouTube video, just Google the link between sex and spirit on YouTube and you'll be able to find this little video that I've done um, as well. And so now I'm going to attempt to answer what I see is the link between sex and spirit. For the longest time as a sexologist, um, I understood um, sex and uh, it involved the economic study of human sexual behavior. And I've always been interested in sex. And then I've always been interested in spirit because I'm kind of like a new age girl, interested in all this spiritual stuff, uh, crystals, meditation, yoga, different things, okay, interested in spirituality. I never saw the link between the two and I didn't understand the link between the two. So then as a sexologist, a lot of people ask me about Tantra and they assume that I know Tantra. And then I went to learn Tantra. And even then, I still didn't see the link. I just thought Tantra was just a whole bunch of different kinds of exercises that makes you feel really good. And that's pretty much it. I started Arrows Evolution, this radio show, for the last two years, interviewed all kinds of Tantra experts and educators. And uh, slowly, slowly, I started to understand really what they meant by the link between sex and spirit. And this is it. Um, when it comes to the, you know, a lot of you will probably be familiar with the seven uh, different chakras that we have. And so the seven different chakras will have different kinds of energy. They will feel different. The higher you go in the chakras, the more subtle the energy is. So when we associate sexual energy as, a, as that particular kind of energy, that particular way in which we have an orgasm, um, the thrusting, the rubbing of our genitals, that kind of energy will produce a certain kind of feeling when it comes to that kind of orgasm. But if you remove the word sex totally and you just see it as energy, then you will truly begin to appreciate the link with sex and spirit because in, uh, in Tantra, in different kinds of practices, um, we feel um, energy. We feel tingles. We feel um, um, out of body experiences, we feel the energy uh, radiating out of our body, we feel energy energy moving up and down our spine. Guess what? It's just different kinds of sexual energy that's playing in your body. It's just energy. If you remove the word sex and you just see everything as energy, then you begin to really appreciate how the body is actually capable of having orgasms in different ways that's not in ways that you have always been conditioned to believe that that's what sex should be like. And if you remove that association with orgasm needing to be that particular way, then you begin to really understand that all play with energy is the play of sexual energy because we came from sex. <laughs> so I hope that little definition um, helps you understand that um, why my, my teacher, um, Barbara Corellas, actually says you can have 
heart gasms. This is when your heart starts to expand and burst open and opens up and you feel this bliss state in, in you. And that is not, that is not um, sexual energy we associate with. That is different because we are at heart and heart has a different vibration. And of course, that orgasm will feel different. We are capable of having orgasms all the time, anywhere, anytime. As long as we are aware of what we're doing, as we tap into the energy, we let go of our attachment to orgasms, needing to look and feel a certain way. So with that, um, I've, I've really start to appreciate the true innuendos of the link between sex and spirit. And with that, um, pretty much ready to end today's show. And um, I probably just have just one more minute. And um, in um, next week's episode, um, let me see who I have. My God, my goodness, I should have it, but I don't have it on this screen right now. Arrows Evolution at a glance. Let me see, let me see. Next week, I have a different guest. And um, I'd like to invite you to tune in, of course. And uh, this guest is going to talk about when procreation and recreation meets. It's going to talk about intimacy during infertility treatment. So this is for couples who want to have sex. And I'm going to have my uh, colleague who is a sex therapist coming on to next week's show. So stay tuned to Eros Evolution. In the meantime, you can always connect with me. You can always reach out to me. You can email me at arrowscoaching.com. I love to hear from you. So goodbye and have a great week ahead.